Hey guys, what's going on? This is Tuvas. So with the release of 2.9, one of the things Eagle Dynamics was able to do was fix track replays. So if you notice, right now we are playing in VR and the recording you're watching is what I would normally record on my computer at the same time as me playing. The only thing that has been increased is my render resolution. That way you guys can experience a true 1440p recording despite me recording live in VR. And during the process of flying in this particular recording, I will be switching back and forth between the live recording and the track replay recording so that you can see what you can actually do now that the track replay system has been uh, fixed, more for lack of a better word, because I know there's still work to be done on it, but the progress that they've made in making sure the track playback is as accurate as it can be for the player is honestly really good. So for instance, even though I am swapping between the, the live VR recording and the recording as seen from the track playback, it is basically the, the entire same flight without any errors. However, because I am able to capture during a track playback, it's actually able to give you guys the full fidelity experience. I could turn up every setting, all graphic settings, all textures, all shadows, uh, I could throw in all those bells and whistles, and because it is a track playback in 2D, my computer system does not have to struggle just to give you guys my VR gameplay experience. So in theory, if you are a content creator for DCS, and you would like to give your viewers a taste of VR gameplay, but without the challenges that come with that performance-wise, really consider using track playbacks as a source of your VR recordings. Sure, it won't be live, so like for example, if if this were a track playback, you wouldn't be able to see what I'm do about to do now, and that is, oh, that is spin wildly out of control. Here we go, let's get that back under control. If I were to zoom in on this, you can see them in VR recording, however, so for instance here, you cannot see me zooming into that other section of the airfield because in the track playback it does not save the zoom in action as it would in a live VR recording. The trade-off is actually really decent graphical fidelity that you can actually capture and then upload to YouTube. So just something for you guys to consider. I thought you guys would find this information useful, especially other VR content creators for DCS. Now that the track replay system for DCS has been more or less fixed. We still need to look forward to some updates like making sure AI follow the same path they did during the gameplay session. But for now, this is actually a pretty viable option for people who are struggling performance-wise, but still want to create VR content for their viewers. But anyways guys, I hope that helps and I will see you next time.